All right, when it's asking you to find the domain and range of two composite functions, you're basically looking at what values you can input and what values you get out for your output. So domain are like your x values and range are your um, y values. But when you're looking at composition of two functions, um, you kind of need to look at the composition first. Okay, so down here we have um, g it asks you to find the domain and range of the composition of g with f. Okay, you see g of f is how you would say that. And write your answer in set notation. Okay, so first of all, you go ahead and start off with this g composited with f of x. And then I would rewrite it just like they did here and rewrite it as g of f of x. Now I kind of think of this f of x as being the inside function. And that's the function you look at first. And then you're going to, so you're going to plug x in and get the result of that, okay? Then you're going to take that result and plug it into your g function. So it's kind of like substitution. And um, so this is the route we're going to take. So we're going to start with our f function, if we, and we're going to start with each of these values. We're going to plug it in and see the result we get and see if we can come over here and plug it into the g function and then see what our final result is. So I'm going to write this over here on this board here so you can kind of see what we're doing. We're going to start with, with 1. Okay, so if you input a 1 into the f function, okay, you come over here and you follow this down and 1, you get an output of 9. Okay, so this is like our domain. This is our range of the f function, but we want the range of, of the g of f of x. So now we need to go over here to and see what we can plug plug this into the g function. Okay, so I'm just going to go through here again. So 1 goes to 9. So we come over here and we have a 9 over here and that is going to go to 2. Okay, so this is our range. So then we come over here and we go to the next number in our set, 4. Okay, and we follow that along. 4 also um, goes to 9, and then we already know that 9 is going to go to 2. Okay, so that just kind of stays there. And then we go to our the number 6 in our f function. We're going to follow that, and 6, um, the input of 6 gives us an output of 8. Now we're going to take that 8 over here and we're going to input it into the next function, into the g function, and 8 input 8 and it gives you an output of 2 again. Okay, so now we go to the next number 7. 7 input of 7 gives us an output of 2. We come over here and there is no 2 over here. Okay, so that means this is not going to be part of the composition function. So I'm just going to cross that out. We're not going to include 7 in our domain. So we come over here to 8 for our f, of f function and 8, when we input an 8, we get an output of 1. And we come over here to the g function and our input of 1 gives us an output of 7. Okay, and we have one more number over here. Input of 9 gives you an output of 3. And when you input 3, you come over here and 3 is not in here. So we're going to cross this out. It's not going to be in the composition function. Okay. So now we look at our domain. And we're going to write this as set notation. So the domain numbers, we just, we're going to list those. 1, 4, 6 and 8. That's the domain. Now the range over here, we do not need to list 2 a whole bunch of times, we just need to list it once. And we also have a 7. Okay, and you can see then that that is the domain and range of that function. 